Hey everyone, I was working on this circle and square design when I noticed a field starter failure. Field starters allow you to do 90 degree branches, which are just so incredibly useful. I use them all the time in my designs, so it's important that they are reliable. You can see the failure there at the top. In this close-up picture, the failure is here. Let's analyze. The green arrows show the direction that the dominoes fall. There are two differences with the failed field starter. First, the angled domino hits this perpendicular domino at the midpoint, instead of the front edge, like the others. Second, the gap between the first and second perpendicular dominoes is slightly narrower than the rest. Fortunately, I captured a slow-mo version of this drop so we can see what happens. We see that the angled domino pushes the perpendicular domino over, but it doesn't have enough momentum or force behind it to actually knock over the second perpendicular domino. And so it just sort of leans on the next domino for a second and then stands back up. The two solutions to this problem are, first, make sure that your angled domino touches the leading edge of the perpendicular domino, like the blue examples here. I've learned that making a good triangle is really the most critical part. And second, make sure that there is enough space between the first and second perpendicular dominoes. A minimum of one and a half to two domino widths apart should be good. And that's all there is to it. Take care and have fun.